everyone, it's Kathy, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be showing you guys five different ways that you can start a plant hanger. Now, I actually already have a video going over five ways to start a plant hanger, so if you watch that one as well, then you will have ten whole ways that you can start your macrame plant hangers. <laughs> So there's just a couple things I wanted to say before we get started and that is that when I make plant hangers I typically use six ropes but you can really get away with using four to eight ropes or honestly as many as you want. It's kind of a personal preference but I think six is just a really good number for plant hangers. And also I also typically use anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of rope for plant hangers. This of course will just depend on your overall design and how long you want the plant hanger to be. So now let's just get right into it and get started. Our first method of starting a plant hanger is probably going to be our easiest or more simple method and that is to attach all of our ropes to a ring using a lark set knot. So I'm just holding all my ropes together and they're evenly folded in half and then what I do is I push it through the ring You'll notice we formed a loop right behind. So I'm gonna take all the ropes and pull them through that loop. Just like that, and then I just give it a nice tug to tighten. And then if it's a little messy, you can go through and individually pull on each rope to kind of smooth that knot out. Just make it nice and how you want it to look. simple yet classic and effective. For method number two we are also going to attach our ropes to a ring with a hitching knot. So we're going to start the same way with our ropes folded evenly in half and held together and we're going to attach it to our ring as if we were doing a lark's head knot. Now, before pulling the lark's head knot tight, we're actually going to make it just a little wider and separate the ropes up top into two groupings. And once it's all separated in the center, what we're gonna do is take our ring and we're going to just twist it away from ourselves and turn it into that loop one full time. Just like that. And now I'm going to kind of pull on the ropes and just tighten it all up. So since we're using so many ropes, this is going to take a little bit of adjusting, but you'll get a really pretty shape and what we're making is a cat's paw knot. Again, you can kind of pull on each individual rope to smooth and tighten and just adjust as needed. As you can see, it's another hitching knot and a variation of our standard lark's head knot. It's just fun and a little more of an interesting design. Then you can continue your plant hanger in any design you choose. For method number three, I'm just going to take my ropes and slide them onto the ring. Like that. And you just want to make sure that both little sections are even when they hang down. Now what I'm going to do is start making square knots. So I like to kind of take one side from the back on the left and one side from the back on the right. And then I tie a square knot as I normally would. So I take the side on the right to cross over all the ropes in the middle. Then the side on the left goes over that right rope, behind all the ropes in the middle, and through the loop. And I pull it tight. Then I take the side on the left to cross over all the ropes in the middle. The side on the right goes over, behind all the ropes in the middle, and through the loop, and I pull it tight. And that is the first little square knot. And then I just repeat. Thank you. 
you'll notice it starts to make a really pretty square knot chain. Just keep in mind that if you use this method, the two ropes you're using to tie the square knot is the only ropes being used at this point, so they're going to start getting shorter than all the ropes that are in the middle. So just adjust your length as needed. For our fourth method, we will be using an endless knot pattern. So to begin, I'm going to take half of the ropes I'm going to use, so in my case that would be three, and I'm going to attach it to my ring as if I was making a reverse lark's head knot. So you can either do the actual reverse lark's head knot or do a normal lark's head knot and then just turn your ring. But for a reverse one, we just take those ropes behind the ring, take them over so the loop's in front, take all those ropes and pull them through the loop. And before I pull this tight, I'm actually going to insert the rest of my ropes. So what I'm going to do is take the three other ropes and I'm just going to slide them through the loop kind of on the side here. So I just take them and pull them through. And you want to pull it out so both sides are even as they hang. Just like that. Then I'm going to tighten up the lark's head knot by taking those ropes that were in the middle and just pulling it tight. your ropes set up you'll notice you have three ropes here on the right side three ropes on the left and six ropes that hang down the middle now you're going to want to separate those middle ropes into two sections of three so basically we're working in four sections of three now I'm gonna take the two ropes on the outer side and cross the left over the right You'll notice that I have a loop here kind of on the right side and a loop here on the left. I'm going to take the three ropes in the middle that are on the right side and curl them over and through that loop on the right. I'm going to repeat on the left side by taking the three ropes on the left in the middle and curling them up and through the loop on the left. Then I'm just going to gently pull to adjust and tighten everything up and since we're working with so many ropes it's going to take a little bit of patience to get your ropes to sit exactly right but don't worry because it will form the knot just like that and now I'm just going to repeat the exact same step so I take the same grouping on the left to cross over that right grouping so that we form kind of an X in our two loops then I take the side on the middle right to curl up and through that loop on the right. Then the left side in the middle curls up and around and through the loop on the left. And then again I just pull everything to adjust and tighten. like that. So let's do it one more time so we can kind of get the hang of it. Left grouping of ropes crosses over the right grouping. So we're forming our two loops. The right group goes up and through the right loop. Then the left group curls up to go through the left loop. And then I'm just going to pull and tighten and adjust and be very patient with myself so that I can make it form as nicely as I can. Just like that. So as you can see, it starts to form a really fun pattern and this knot is three-sided. So we have this really fun texture on the side and then if you flip it around, you get this really cool pattern. So it's great for your plant hangers and it is a lot of fun to make once you get the hang of it. This is a more advanced little system of making your knots, but it has such a great effect that just a little bit of patience and you guys will have a great outcome. Now our fifth and final method in starting a plant hanger is a twist on the standard spiral knot. You're just gonna drape your ropes over your ring as we did when we did the square knot method. 
And we're going to kind of start the same way where we're going to take one side in the back on the left and one side in the back on the right. And we're going to tie a half square knot. So I just take the right side, cross it over all the ropes in the middle. The side on the left goes over, behind those ropes, and through the loop. Then I'm going to do another half square knot. So I take the right side again to cross over all the ropes. The left goes over the right one, behind the ropes in the middle, and through the loop. Now we are going to repeat the same thing, making two half square knots, but this time we're going to leave a bit of a gap. Once you have your half square knots finished and you have a gap, you're just going to take those and push them up so that they rest right underneath the last two knots. So what we're doing is we're forming loops here. So the more space you leave between your half square knots, the bigger your loops will be. So that is a personal preference and kind of a design element that you can have fun with. So again, I'm just going to go down a bit, make two spiral knots. slide it up underneath the last ones and I repeat more you go, the more it will naturally start to spiral. You might also need to help guide it just a little bit because you can as well kind of straighten these out to give it a different look as well. So this is just a really fun system and you will have these loops as far down as you want. But you are going to eat up a lot of rope using this. You will need to measure the rope you're using to tie this knot extra, extra long just so you have enough rope to then complete the rest of your plant hanger design. And there you go. That is my five different ways that you can start a plant hanger. I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.